The most basic move in skiing is keeping the upper body moving downhill and towards the next turn while the skis are turning. We can look at a couple dynamic situations to see what this looks like. And in this case, the skier is making a turn to their uh, left. And so we'll look at the right side of their body. Our eyes will be over here. And we'll watch what happens as they take their upper body and tip it to their right, which is the outside of the turn, as they go through this turn. So that angle that we just put up there will get smaller and smaller as they're tipping their upper body to the outside of the turn. This is keeping the upper body moving towards the outside of the turn and as the skis finish uh, edging and get released the upper body stays in motion and moves right downhill. It looks as if it's falling into the new turn at this point. So we can see that that tipping motion keeps everything moving to the outside of the turn and then it ends up looking like it's just falling right into the new turn. Take a look at a larger giant slalom turn and the same thing we're making a turn to the left so we'll look at the right side of the body it's being tipped to the outside of the turn as the skis are being put on edge here. Tipping, tipping, tipping. And as soon as the skis get released, the upper body looks like it's falling right into the new turn. Take a look at one on the other side, so this time it's turned to the right. We'll look at the left side of the body, so we'll look on this side of the skier as they take their upper body, tip it to the outside of the turn. We'll see that that angle between the upper and lower body gets smaller and smaller and smaller with that progressive movement to the outside of the turn. And then as the skis are released, we will see the upper body look like it's falling right into the new turn. So we progressively tip, 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 and that motion to the outside just keeps everything moving and looking like it's going to fall right into the new turn. And let's take a look at uh, one more turn here to the left so again our eyes are back over here on the right side of the body as it's tipped to the outside of the turn we'll see that angle gets smaller and smaller and smaller and that continuous motion to the outside of the turn uh, as soon as it gets released keeps everything flowing into the new turn. It looks like the upper body's just going to fall right into the new turn. The other thing that we'll also look at is how we'll keep the body moving forward. And to do that, we'll take a look at the skier's left ankle. So this time we'll look over here and look at the left ankle and as it's coming into the turn we'll notice that it starts to flex progressively all the way through the turn and we'll see how much it is flexed forward by how far the knee is over the front of the boot at this point. So again that is keeping the body moving forward by flexing the ankle. So we're progressively tipping to the outside of the turn and flexing the ankle. Tipping and flexing. Both nice progressive movements so that as the skis are turning and the turn forces are trying to push us back and inside, we keep the upper body moving over those forces and toward the next turn. The way we develop that in a new skier is by developing a really good athletic stance and getting them comfortable with speed straight down the hill. We can use a small little wedge and get them building the momentum 
and that's really the key. They've got to be in a great athletic stance and comfortable building speed. This will build up the momentum which makes turning very easy and the skis will react quicker. So with a very slight minimal turn, they'll stop the turn and feel the momentum carry them right downhill toward the new turn. Just as in the very dynamic situation, they'll start to get a feel for this right from the start. Good athletic stance, plenty of speed to get the momentum going, a very slight minimal turn keeps the momentum moving through the turn and as soon as it's released the momentum carries them right toward the new turn downhill. This is how we can develop this very most basic movement of skiing right away with a first time beginner.